Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear student How are you? I am fine It is my third class of dance Today I want to start now And I hope You already Was my first and second class of dance So Let's start Welcome hey Students Look at the picture Do you understand? What does he do? Yes And another picture. Do you understand what are they doing? That means they are working. Which is the right use of auxiliary verb in in the sentence? He are working. Number two, he is working, which is right sentence. Yes, he is working. They are working and they is working, which is right sentence. Yes, they are working. What do I want to present today? I hope you can realize right use of auxiliary verb. Today our topics is right use of auxiliary verb. In previous two classes we know the structure of tense and how to make sentence according to the structure of tense. Today we will learn how to use right auxiliary verb in the sentence okay let's start we also know that tense totally 12 tense 1 to 12 so i hope you already memorize this today uh, you know the five steps of tenses structure and according to the structure I describe these five steps below and according to the description I made the total 12 structure of 12 tense and in my previous two classes I also present this I hope you are clear today there are auxiliary verb we see in 12 tense though we don't see number 1 tense and number 6 tense there is no auxiliary verb but hiddenly we use as auxiliary verb in the number of one do or does and in the number of five we use did auxiliary verb and we also use s or u e as in the number of one tense and we also use b one when we did when we use did in the number of five tense students so we start this number one number one means number one means present indefinite tense here 
we use as or yes when we see subject i যখন আমরা দেখব সাবজেক্টটি আই ব্যতীত সিঙ্গুলার সিঙ্গুলার হলেই আমরা বারবার শেষে এস বি এস যুক্ত করব অর্থাৎ সাবজেক্টটি আই ব্যতীত সিঙ্গুলার হলে আমরা বারবার শেষে এস বি এস যুক্ত করব দ্যাট মিন্স উই অ্যাডেড এস অর ইয়েস ওয়েন উই সি দ্য সাবজেক্ট ইজ সিঙ্গুলার অ্যাকসেপ্ট আই For example, if subject is singular, here he reads a book. Here subject is he and it is singular, so we add as at the ending of bar. In the second sentence, it, it is singular. It is singular, so we added as at the ending of bar so this sentence is it is it helps to write korem writes a letter there korem is singular so we use as at the ending of bar there we did a book here subject is we and subject we is plural so we don't use as or yes there these help to write here this is plural so we don't use uh, sorry yes and they similarly is plural so we don't use as or yes i hope student you are clear where we use as or use yes when the sentence is first indefinite present indefinite tense we use as or yes at the ending of verb when subject is singular without i i is exception for example i write a letter here i is singular though we know subject is singular we use as or yes at the ending of verb but i is exceptional we don't use as or yes when subject is i okay students number 1 has another note you know number 1 means present indefinite tense here indefinite interrogative interrogative uh, negative interrogative negative করার সময় ভার্ভ হিসাবে অক্সিলিয়ার ভার্ভ হিসাবে ডু অথবা ডাজ বসে ডাজ বসলে বার্ভে শেষের এস বি এস উঠে যায় হ্যাঁ লুক এট দ্য পিকচার ফর এক্সাম্পল অ্যাসারেটিভ সেন্টেন্স উই রাইট এ লেটার হ্যাঁ হোয়েন উই ম্যাক ইট নেগেটিভ উই নো উই হ্যাভ টু অ্যাডেড নট with auxiliary verb though here is no auxiliary verb we land do auxiliary verb and we set up do auxiliary verb we use do as auxiliary verb and also added not to make negative and secondly to make interrogative we use similarly do auxiliary verb A student follow the third step for interrogative negative we use don't so if we see assertive sentence and there if we find the verb which is without s or s yes, we use do and if we find at the ending of verb s or s yes, we use does for example 
इंटरगेटिव नेगेटिव नेगेटिव इंटरगेटिव करार समय अक्सिड बार्ब हिसाब से डू अथवा डाच बसे डाच बस ले बार्ब शेषे एस बी एस उठे जाए फर एक्साम्पल हि रईट ए लैटर हेयर सबजेक्ट इज हि बिकज हि इज सिंगुलर सो उज एस वेन उ मेक इट नेगेटिव उज डज अक्सिलेबर एंड इंटरगेटिव फॉर इंटरगेटिव उमिलारलि यूज डाज एंड इंटरगेटिव नेगेटिव उमिलारलि यूज डाज नट सो आई होप यू आर क्लियर हायर उज एस और येस एंड हायर उज डू और डाज ओके नम्बर वन टेंस उजुअलि यूज अक्जल बार्ब एज मेन बार्ब सचेज हि इज ए स्टूडेंट दो वेन उज दैन उ कैन अंडारस्टैंड दिस इज द सेकेंड नम्बर अफ टेंस दैट मीस प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस बाट इफ उइ सी ओनलि इज एंड लेटर उ डोट इफ उ डोट सी बार एंड दैट मीस वि वन आई एन जि इफ उ डोट सी दि वन आई एन जि उ कैन अंडारस्टैंड दैट दिस उल बी प्रेजेंट इन डिफिनेट टेंस there am is are have has as main verb and these are the form of b1 he we are friend it is independent present indefinite tense it has a fan i am a teacher people have not concentration so these are present indefinite tense though the auxiliary verb the auxiliary verb are different so i hope you are clear the fact of number 1 tense okay now number 2 tense you know number 2 tense means present continuous tense here when subject is i we use as auxiliary verb am subject is singular we use for it auxiliary verb is and when we find subject is plural we use auxiliary verb as are okay let's go we see the example he am is are writing a letter which is right am or is or are i hope you can understand because he is singular and for singular we use is so he is writing a letter we am or is or are writing a letter which is correct use of auxiliary verb yes r and third example i am writing a letter clear okay students in the number 3 and 4 we know the number 3 means present perfect and 4 means present perfect continuous tense here we see when subject is i or plural we use auxiliary verb have or have been and another 
except i when subject is singular we use has or has been in bengali i say jokhon amra dekhbo subject ti i ebong plural tokhon amra auxiliary verb hisebe have ebong has been have been byabohar korbo ebong subject ti jokhon i byotito singular hobe tokhon amra has othoba has been byabohar korbo for example he have or has written a letter which is right here have or has which is right yes has because has is singular we know when subject is singular we use has or has been though he is singular so we use he has we have or has written a letter here we use auxiliary verb have because we is plural plural for plural we use have or has have been okay in the third example i have been or i has been which is right i have been yes and fourth example they have been or they has been which is right they have been i hope you can understand it number 5 interrogative negative negative interrogative korar shomoy auxiliary verb hisebe did boshe did boshle b2 t b1 hoye jay we know five means past indefinite tense here we see assertive sentence he wrote a letter we know the structure of past indefinite tense subject plus b2 plus extension or object uh, according to the structure he wrote a letter here right is b1 form wrote is the b2 form and written is the b3 form here we find b2 and thus it is as a result it is assertive for make negative we use did auxiliary verb here did is as auxiliary verb and we added not for making negative and when we used it we change the form of verb here we find b2 but it will be changed into b1 ekhane ami bolechilam did boshe b2 t b1 hoye jay so we change the form of verb similarly for interrogative and interrogative negative we use did auxiliary verb and also change the form of verb okay clear okay in the number of five tens they also has another rules we use was were and had in this number as the main verb for example he was a student you know am is are b1 its b2 is was b3 is been r is b2 b b1 its b2 is were and b3 been have or has is b1 form and its b2 is had and b3 is been so subject plus b2 plus object that means the rules of first indefinite tense so this is first indefinite tense though we see the auxiliary verb was in the number of 6 that means present continuous tense we don't say this is present continuous tense because 
there is no v1 ing so it is first indefinite tense okay similarly i had a cat i know had is auxiliary verb and it is it's situated in the number of seven that means first perfect tense but this is main verb here because we know at the ending of had we see the b3 form of main verb though there is no main verb so this auxiliary verb become main verb and for this it its structure is subject plus b2 plus extension so this is the first indefinite tense if anyone say this is first perfect tense he is right because had we use as auxiliary verb for the number of seven times both are right and thus we were children here we were here where is auxiliary verb and there it is main verb so it is first indefinite tense okay number six subject is singular hole was plural hole where was it is i hope easily can understand six means present past continuous tense here example he was or were writing a letter which is right yes he though he is singular we use for it was auxiliary verb and uh, and we see we was or where writing a letter here excuse me uh, sorry for this we was or were writing a letter here we were writing a letter because we is plural okay in the number seven and eight the rules are same there there is only one auxiliary verb had in the number of seven and had been in the number of eight so we are we know that seven number means first perfect tense eight number means per first perfect continuous tense for example he had written a letter here only a auxiliary verb so only an uh, auxiliary verb so i use had and after had the form of verb will be b3 and we had been writing a letter number 9 10 11 12 the rules are saved so i write this uh, you also know the name of these 9 10 11 12 tense fuser fuser indefinite fuser continuous fuser perfect and fuser perfect continuous tense there are only two types of auxiliary verb shall or will both of the four kinds only subject t i u u hole shall othoba shall be othoba shall have othoba shall have been boshe when 
we see subject I we you we use shell or shell have or shell have been or shall be etc okay and when we see that I we you but it does shock all subject will will be will have what will have been will have been Boshe. For example, he is not I, we, you. That means I, we, you. This is different and this is only for use. Uh, we use sh shell for only I, we, you. If we find subject different, we use will. And latest grammar they also use will for I we you so remember that when we use will for I this will signify the meaning broadly that means I shall kill you here is simple sentence if I say I will kill you this is notify a de determination an intention it is uh, used for intentionally okay he will have written a letter they will be writing a letter Napisa will do the work A student uh, we learn 12 tense is auxiliary verb your homework is use right auxiliary verb in the following I had or has written a letter which is right you do at your home this sentence correctly thank you for watching my class and it is the third class of tense i hope if you watch my full classes you may learn something about tense For full concept of tense, I made a sheet for you. I give this in my video description. Uh, please download the sheet from the link. Okay, thank you.